So, Graham. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, duh, not bad. Are we live? Oh, not bad. Oh, we are live. Yeah. Oh, God. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, the last uh, 20, 30 <laughs> minutes is just a blur. Just a blur. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yes. Um, I'd like to say actually thank you no for problem. helping. It's a pleasure. Helping uh, the, make this happen. No it's a lot of hard work. Yeah. And uh, so tell us what you've been doing. In terms of the programme committee? Yes. Yeah, uh, what, what it is yeah. and like, really why is this such a, you know, how, what part does it play in creating the Congress? Yeah, it's, um, so good? I mean, it's a, it's a, you know, a really detailed process and a really kind of inclusive process. Uh, and, a, and a, you know, for me, it's a great way of getting at uh, what produces such great content at a Congress. Uh, so the submission uh, announcement for, for submissions is announced for people to put submissions in. I think that happened about maybe January time this year. Uh, we had over 200 submissions in initially. Uh, and then as a programme committee, there's uh, eight of us on the programme committee. Uh, we met at SMR in Amsterdam, went through the submissions. We spent two days thrashing through them, trying to work through the content, get it into themes, get it into, into what we think shape up to be a, a great congress for content um, and then after that the, the the process is the submissions then get translated into written papers so all the people that you've seen presenting or heard presenting uh, who have done main presentations have written papers as well so please go and seek them out because they've done a lot of hard work to get those papers written um, and then as a group we kind of divvy up and share going through the papers as well and then obviously the final stages is is the you know the great ability to get together and, and and uh, have them presented uh, on the on the stages, which have uh, been great here in Toronto for the first day. So yeah, yeah, it's been uh, that's the process in a nutshell. <laughs> it's, there's a lot to it. In a very big, yeah, new big year nutshell. long nutshell. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot to it. A lot of hard work goes into it. Yeah. So um, obviously you've looked at a few. Yeah. Uh, we do have a winning paper coming up. Yeah. With something that we're going to announce. But what is your favourite one? What is your favourite? Oh, uh, well, I obviously yeah, I've got I've, I've got a bit of a sense of of what's gone in. Look, I mean, I think. It's, it, there's just been some great content overall. I think, as I said in my introduction this morning uh, on the main stage, we had a real, really eclectic, uh, broad brush of, of, of inputs when we had the submissions come in. And in a way, that makes it really difficult to sort of home in on kind of... And so I've had favourites across things like the issues around diversity and inclusivity, around things like ESG and sustainability, great societal papers, and then methodological ones as well, yeah. So, um, personal favourites, there's a couple of the ones there that are client collaborations on some of these big issues. Um, yeah, I'm not going to nail my, I'm not going to nail it to the mask, but uh, everyone can wait out and see in the next in the next day or two and see what comes see what comes through. But uh, 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 yeah, I think uh, I, you know, I think it's it's very tight in terms of just being great quality overall. In terms, and in, in particular, as I'd urged before go and see the written papers there's a lot of hard work gone into those yeah. which really show the quality as well so even if you have listened to something uh, that's been beamed today on the stages go find that written paper if you were yeah. you know if you're really interested in that topic and everything will be available uh, to see so stick with us and um, in Congress we make sure that you get all the information can not only the recordings of this which I will not be watching <laughs> <laughs> but also all the papers as Graham mentioned so um, You've you've seen uh, an overview yep. uh, in quite detail of everything that's yep. going on. Yep. But now seeing that, seeing what people are, um, uh, you know, wanting to submit, but like in the industry, what what would you say the key themes are that we really need to focus on? Yeah, I think I'd, I'd leap off the. Um some of the stuff on the keynote today really around the fact that there's this a real opportunity for innovation uh, now. Um, I also think that that's really challenging and tricky with the economic environment that we've got and I think we all understand that but organisations are looking for consumer understanding to move forward with innovation. Um, you know, I think <laughs> there's a little bit of a whole oh, post-pandemic, post-pandemic, but there, you know, that's kind of where we are. And and, and the real the reality is that we've got to help organisations and, and and as an industry to see where consumers are going to jump onto some of the things that might be there for innovation, because there is a great opportunity in the innovation space. I believe, yeah. uh, I certainly see it in my business in the sort of work I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, I would jump on the changes in business models as well that are going on, uh, linking into things like sustainability, ESG. These are all things that big organisations are grappling with at the same time as trying to make short-term profit, but they know they need to do something about it. And I think for us that's fascinating mm -hmm. uh, as an industry. It's also very challenging because yeah. consumers in have an issue with the say-do gap a little bit in terms of what they say they do and what they actually do. Yes. Uh, we need to work with organisations to help them with that. Mm -hmm. uh, 
but there's changes in business models happening for me, uh, which I think is just sort of hugely exciting uh, and exciting for the next generations for us that maybe got a bit more grey hair. Uh, you know, I think it'll be for, for the younger researchers coming through, like the S Awards guys uh, that we've seen today. Uh, you know, I think there's going to be really exciting times coming out of these changes of business models. And would you say that there is uh, going to be, obviously we don't want to focus on uh, post-pandemic, post-pandemic, yeah. I mean, you, but in usually in times of strife and, yeah. and something like this, would you say that there's going to be an innovation boom coming out, uh, coming I, out of there? I, I think it's an interesting, I wouldn't use the word boom, but there's going to be a concentration on innovation being okay. uh, a requirement for organisations. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're going to be quite critical of themselves and critique quite hard how to get an ROI on innovation mm -hmm. in a way that they maybe haven't before mm -hmm. but that provides a new opportunity for kind of thinking about some of these changes to business models and how that fits with innovation mm -hmm. um, so I think organizations uh, you know corporate uh, commercial organizations are really in a oh we need to get innovation right so let's focus on getting it right yeah. uh, in a way that maybe in the past um, it's not been quite at the top of their minds in terms of shareholders putting pressure on them or C-suite putting pressure on them to get it right which for our industry is interesting because it gives us opportunities to develop new ways to help mm. have the consumer or the stakeholder or whatever you know whatever participant within that within that narrative so uh, Innovation boom, I would call it an innovation uh, emphasis and a real kind of, you know, let's have a real think about how we're helping with that process as an industry uh, because I think it's time for new methodologies, new engagements with consumers, participants, stakeholders on that front. So, yeah, kind of boomish. Okay. All right. Kind of special. <laughs> I think we just need to kind of really be thinking about how good yeah. we are at this and re refocus on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what would you say the challenges are going to be? What What is going to be one of the biggest hindrances in there? I understand there's, going to, there's an economic yeah. um, situation going on at the moment. I'd go back to the, the the thing I said before about yeah. things like say do gaps. You know, yeah. consumers say, say they'll do one thing and mean you know not actually do another thing potentially. Mm -hmm. And we've we've done a lot in our industry to kind of work around that. And yeah. we we became you know, quite well known for it during the pandemic for helping organisations to kind of get to that human understanding. Mm -hmm. But I think we've got to work even harder to help with that say-do gap for organisations and say, well, if you know, consumers say they're going to do this, but they're not actually doing it, mm -hmm. how do we help them with that? How do we help them, you know, maybe buy, uh, you know, buy and have behaviour that is more sustainable or whatever the big issue is? So, so that's... Uh Honestly, it's, it's quite exciting. Yeah. It's going to be um, the, the same do gap was actually um, when I was reading the GMR, the Global Market Research yeah. Report. Um, the what really struck out with, to me was the um, the emphasis that a lot of companies put towards uh, diversity and inclusion, yeah. and they put it really high up. However, about when spending money on it was yeah. right at the bottom, and yeah. it's uh, unfortunately it's. Um, yeah, so it's sad to see, but yeah. on a lighter note, yeah. on a lighter note, <laughs> uh, we're in Toronto. Yep. And Toronto. We, we can't. <laughs> oof, you know, tea. I've, I've, been, Second tea. I've been told off for that. <laughs> um, we've, um, I don't think we've announced where we're going to be next year, but aside from where, where would, it, where would be your perfect location for a Congress? Uh, well, you've been in Scotland recently, and that's my homeland. So I don't think you're going to go back there, <laughs> back there for a while. Um, look, I, I, you know, I think the thing that's exciting about this is to see the community back together again. And I don't think it really kind of matters too much, mm -hmm. as long as we embrace getting the community back together and, yeah. and touch wood. We can do that mm -hmm. face to face. Um, I think it's fascinating that I mentioned in my opening speech today. We had, we've got 25 countries represented on the on the speakers mm -hmm. uh, speaker stage from from the from the committee work. Uh, we've had, you know, obviously from all around the world, we had submissions kind of mm -hmm. coming in, and that's exciting, you know. And yeah. I think ultimately, hopefully, somewhere that's kind of has that kind of uh, has that kind of inviting kind of aspect to it, yeah. so that everyone from around the world wants to turn up again, like they have here in in mm -hmm. Canada. So yeah, um, okay. yeah, which is uh, a long way of saying anywhere's great. Awesome. So uh, I was just hoping you would say Bali, so I can go a trip over there. But okay, I guess we'll keep on yeah, waiting. Yeah. So I think I think my answer would be Bali. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. So uh, you've heard it there. Yeah. So um, Graham, thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Uh, so, um, looking forward to the next. Uh, well, uh, finishing off. Are you yeah. joining us for the craft beer? I am. Well, uh, yeah. I think that would be appropriate, wouldn't uh, it? So, I think. I think yeah, it will be. Uh, yeah. I think so. everyone's earned it. So uh, yeah. And, uh, everyone out there, open up a craft beer later. And, uh, yeah, uh, I hope so. I Cheers. Hope so. All right. So uh, thank you very much. No problem. And, pleasure. Uh, well, uh, I'll see you soon. See you soon. All Cheers, right. everyone. Cheers. Bye bye.